Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are all fine and doing good. So, students, today in this video, I have come up with a new lesson. That is lesson number five, the Sumit Vidhi. So, here in this chapter, we will be learning about the achievement of Major H P S Aluwalia. Fine. So, before starting, let me tell you that this video. Now, this chapter is divided into two parts. Okay, so I am covering up in two videos. So, in first video, I'll be teaching you about part one, and in second video, I'll be teaching you about part two. Okay, so now let's have a brief look of it. Now, see here. So, I can tell that uh, this is the chapter written by Major H P S Aluwalia. Okay, so. Who was he? He was a member of the first successful Indian expedition to Mount Everest in 1965. Clear? Okay. So in this lesson, he has talked about his experiences of uh, climbing the world's highest summit, that means Mount Everest. So here he also tells his readers that how uh, the physical conquest, okay, the physical conquest changes uh, on a personal and spiritual level that how um, when we achieve the summit how can it uh, turn us how can it change us both personally and spiritually okay because it has totally affected him after reaching the summit he was totally affected by the achievement okay he was spiritually and personally he was lifted up so after talking about climbing the physical summit he has also talked about the task of uh, climbing the summit within. Okay. And then after climbing that Mount Everest, he also tells us about the task of climbing the summit within. Okay. So, summit within means under under. Okay. So now let us see that what he is telling us in this chapter. Okay. So now let us see that who were the members now see here since it was a successful indian expedition to climb mount everest expedition means the group of uh, people okay which is taken as a journey in order to explore or research something that is called expedition fine so the members of the team were pudoji edmund hilary hps aluwalia and Vinod Rawat, right? These were the people who uh, who tried to research on Mount Everest in 1965. So now let us have a look of the chapter. Okay, now see. The summit within summary in English. Okay. In 1965, the expedition to Mount Everest was the first successful expedition. Okay. Expedition means a journey undertaken by a group of people. Okay. Here there were four members. Okay. Four of them. They expedited Mount Everest. Okay. And it was the first successful expedition. So, Edmund Hillary and Major Luwalia were also a part of this expedition. So, this chapter is a reminiscence of this expedition by Major Luwalia. Okay, so this chapter is reminiscence. Reminiscence means uh, the story being told about the past event which is still remembered by the narrator. So, who is the narrator here? The narrator is Major Aluwalia. Okay, so he is expressing and he is telling about the past event which is still remembered by him. Clear? Okay, so she says that standing on the peak of Mount Everest, he felt humbled and joyful. So, he said that when he reached the peak of the Mount Everest, peak means the topmost part when he reached the peak of mount everest 
he felt humbled and joyful he felt both happiness and sorrow okay though he was physically tired so after reaching he was really very physically tired so at that moment he was feeling both humbled and joyful he felt that this joy will remain with him all his life so he she felt that this joy is not going to end this joy will remain with him all through his life and was thus thankful to god and he was really thankful to god because it was due to the will of the god that he was able to reach the summit of the mountain clear he was able to reach the summit of the everest okay also she was sad and she was also sad somewhere at the same time even though he was happy he was also sad okay though he was not sure about the reason okay so why was he sad he was not sure about the reason that he could not find out exactly what was the reason behind his sadness that why was he still sad even after achieving such a great height but he thought that it was because now there is no higher peak to climb anymore so what makes him sad he uh, the reason why he was sad may be this that he has no peak left to climb because climb uh, mount everest is the highest peak in the world we all know that okay so after mount everest there is no other higher peak than mount everest so this was the reason why he was little sad clear all of you okay now next now see next okay in spite of climbing this summit he thinks that there is also another summit that we need to climb okay so now we know the greatest summit is the mount everest okay mount everest has the highest summit but in spite of climbing this summit ye summit pe chadne ke bawajood bhi he thinks that there is another summit that we need to climb and what is that it is the summit of our mind okay that means it is the summit of our mind so how can we reach to the summit of our mind we can reach by improving our thoughts okay so now let's come back to the chapter as per his observation he said that a person requires three qualities to climb any summit okay so how can we reach the summit of our mind according to the author he said that in order to climb the summit of our minds we must have three qualities what are they they are endurance persistence and will power okay so endurance what is endurance endurance means the capacity or the ability of something to last okay it means the capacity or the ability of something to last forever or to withstand the wear and tear okay wear and tear means the hardship if you have the capacity to withstand the wear and tear then you are able to achieve the summit okay so i hope you got what is endurance means the capacity or the ability of something to last okay if you have the strong will power then you can withstand any difficulties and that is called endurance now persistence what is persistence it is uh, the ability to stop burnly continue doing something jaise jid mein aa kar ke jid mein akad ke kuch cheez karna hai jaise hum kabhi tham lete hain kisi cheez ko ki hum wo karenge kisi cheez ko hum hasil karenge okay that is called persistence मतलब जिद में आकर के किसी चीज को कट 
के ही छोड़ना डिजिटल परसिस्टेंस ओके एंड विल पावर विल पावर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पावर विद इन द हर्ट ओके सो दिस थ्री थिंग्स आर द क्वालिटीज विच लीड्स अस टू क्लाइम एनी सुमित इफ वी हैव ऑल दिस क्वालिटीज वी कैन रीच द सुमित आवर माइंड ओके फिर चाहे आपको फिजिकली पेन हो चाहे कुछ भी हो यू विल नॉट सेट बैक आप पीछे नहीं रहोगे वट विल यू डू यू विल ट्राई टू थिंक आउट सम वे सम अल्टरनेट टू टू कंप्लीट द टास्क वट एवर यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट फाइन एवरी वन ओके सो ओके सो एंडस परसिस्टेंस and will pack are the three qualities which a person needs to overcome any obstacles of his life okay so if we have these three qualities in ourselves then we can overcome any obstacles of our life obstacles means pareshaniya overcome means us cheez ko taal dena theek hai usse bahar nikal aana that is called overcome so if we have endurance persistence and will power in ourselves then we can overcome any difficulties of our life clear so every person does enjoys overcoming the obstacles so when we have all these three qualities then we can enjoy the overcoming of the obstacles matlab mushkil se bahar nikalne ki khushi hum mehsoos kar payenge agar hamare paas ye teen qualities ho to clear to everyone okay right merci on the question of why he chose to climb everest he says that he loves the mountains okay and when he was asked that why had you choose to climb everest which is the highest mountain of all okay which is the highest summit of all why have you not chosen k2 or any other peak so what was his reply he responded that he love mountain okay why did he choose everest he chose everest because he loves the mountains as mount everest is the highest of them and it is a great struggle against rock and ice to climb it he finds it very challenging so why did he particularly choose everest he particularly chose everest because he said that mount everest is the highest of them of all the mountains mount everest is the highest and so it is a great struggle okay climbing mount everest is great struggle because of rock and ice the first thing is that it has rocks it is difficult to climb and the other thing is that it is ice it is covered with ice so it is really very risky why it is risky because on on ground or on solid matter okay something which is very hard we can fix ourselves and we can adjust and balance ourselves on it okay if we find any hard surface we can adjust and we can balance ourselves but if we find something liquid okay what is ice ice is in a liquid form so if we find ice it is very difficult to balance and adjust can you tell me why because of the slippery effect the ice has slippery effect on it okay and you can say that ice is really very hard so how can it be slippery it could be slippery because when we climb or when we touch any ice okay let us consider that we have a huge ice in our hand and we are holding it so our body temperature tends to melt the ice yes or no so when it tends to melt the ice the liquidity is formed and that liquidity 
makes slipperiness and because of their slipperiness it is possible for the climbers to slip down okay it is possible for the climbers to slip down the mountain so this is the reason why climbing mount everest is really a challenging job because it is really very dangerous job did you get me now all of you okay so major alualia told that he loved mount everest because the first reason was that it was the highest of all and the other was that it is it was a great struggle to climb against rock and ice and he find it very challenging so this was the reason why he want to see whether he have got the three qualities or not in order to achieve success he wanted to see that whether was he able to face the challenge or not clear okay so he says that he has a strong urge to face the challenge and overcome the obstacles okay and then he said that he had a strong urge urge means urge means a strong desire chahat okay he said that he had a strong urge to face the challenges and overcome the obstacles उनमें ये चाहत थी कि उनको चैलेंजेस को फेस करना है और ये जो मुसीबत है इससे बाहर निकल आना है फाइन ऑल्सो टू हिम द जॉय ऑफ क्लाइंबिंग माउंट एवरेस्ट इज टू मच एज ओनली अ फ्यू कैन मैनेज टू डू दिस ओके एंड ही ऑल्सो सीज डेट क्लाइंबिंग माउंट एवरेस्ट इज नॉट अ चाइल्ड्स प्ले ये कोई बच्चे का खेल नहीं है so it is only a few who can manage to do this so this was the reason why i love climbing mount everest i choose climbing mount everest because if i am able to climb the summit i would get immense joy i would get immense peace and happiness so he tried to achieve it clear okay he adds here that climbing everest is not just a physical achievement but also is an emotional and spiritual experience so he also adds that climbing everest is not only a physical achievement okay when we climb everest we need a physical labor we have to do physical hard work okay so he says that it is not only a physical achievement but it is also an emotional and spiritual experience because after reaching the summit we can get spiritual and emotional experience clear okay so this success has brought him fame and also fulfillment and he said that when i was able to complete my task i got lot of fame and also fulfillment what was the fulfillment the fulfillment was that he wanted to see whether he had those three qualities or not fine and so now after climbing the everest he really got fame what is fame do you know what is fame name and fame uh, means uh, you are known worldwide everybody would be knowing about you you would become famous to become famous fine so he said that this success had brought him fame and also fulfillment i think in hindi it is called bharpur fine so he was really fulfilled and he got lots of fame clear to everyone okay so this is the first part of the chapter so i am going to end up here and in the next part in the next video i will be completing the remaining part of the chapter okay so in the next uh, video your uh, conclusion you would get you will come to know that how has he climbed and what were the other things that he wanted to share with us
fine i hope you have loved first part of the chapter okay thank you for watching